Hey, I'm Rachel Starr, and I'm about to take you on the journey with me through me getting electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, or electroshock therapy. Um, I'm 22 years old. I am a, well, testing said a schizophrenic. My current doctors say bipolar or schizoaffective disorder. But either way, I have very bad depression. And usually you put someone through ECT after they have not responded to medication. And no medication I've been on the past two years has helped me with my depression. And I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm, I hope it works. I'm a little scared. Um, it's not what people think. Uh, what happens is they put a little bit of electricity will go right through the middle of my brain right here. And that will cause me to have a seizure. And it's the seizure that helps. Not the electricity, but lots of people think it's a misconception. They think it's electricity that's helped me, you know, it's actually the seizure that's being induced that helps. Electricity is just to induce the seizure. So yeah, um, the most common thing people have told me, like I, like when I tell people, like yeah, I'm getting ready for electroshock therapy, most people are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they still did that. I've even had doctors say, well, my family doctor was like, really, they still do that? I went to the sleep center because I have insomnia. And they were like, what? They still do that? And I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> this would make me feel very reassured when the doctors don't even know. But anyway, so yeah, it is a common misconception that, uh, you know, it's no longer done. But it is, and it's very safe. Um, I will be given muscle relaxers so my body won't actually be, like, shaking during the seizure. It'll, I'll just be laying there. But um, thanks for coming along with me on this journey. And um, I hope to point of making this is to help people understand more about mental illness. Alright, thanks. Let's go. So, uh, night before we start the electroshock therapy, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Uh, the main side effect of electroshock therapy is um, memory loss. You can lose short term, long term, anything. It just depends on the person. So I'm very nervous about the memory loss. And So what I've done is I've actually made a DVD that um, if I come home and I don't, I'm kind of mixed up and confused, I can watch this DVD and it'll kind of catch me up to speed on who I am and what I do, just kind of the general basics about me. So, yeah, let's go. Hey, I'm Rachel Starwithers. I'm 22 years old. I'm a full-time college student. I'm studying sports, entertainment, events, management. Um, I run we well, just had my first treatment. Um, surprisingly, the, the memory loss wasn't so bad for it. Um, I just didn't remember really what took place in the hospital. It's kind of zoned out for that. But I um, had the worst headache I've ever had in my life. It was just like someone took an axe to my head and was just chopping away. But, uh, yeah. So I'm really glad. Unfortunately, I found out that I can't be driving while I'm doing the treatments. So that puts a major hamper on my social life and my, uh, pretty much just my life in general. It kind of sucks. So we'll, we'll see. But anyway, yeah. So first one went okay. Hey, I uh, just had electroshock therapy today. My hands are all bruised from where they tried to keep sticking me for the IVs because I couldn't get a good vein. Um, this has been my first day. I've really had trouble with memory. Uh, just forgetting everything. Kind of had to go through my life in my head. Everything feels very, like, far away, kind of. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's not that bad. So, I have two more electroshock treatments. I have uh, one coming up in one in, in two days. Today's Tuesday. I have another one on Thursday and then I have one on Monday and I'll be done. So we're on the home stretch. Almost done. All right. Um, yeah. One more treatment left. I had one today and I'll be having one on Monday and um, that's it. And so far things have been going really well. Um, I've been having some little memory problems like what day is it? Um, trying to remember just, yeah, mostly what day it is and, um, different things. But, I mean, other than that, I'm doing pretty good. So, I think, if anything, this video takes out a lot of the stigma of electroshock therapy. It's just this crazy, 
horrible thing and really it's not it's been you know an okay practice and I think it's something that to go into you don't really know what to expect but I mean so far it's been really good so um, my mom says that she can see so far I haven't been really noticed a difference in me but um, I mean I guess I'm doing okay so we'll see have, have you seen a difference in me? Big difference. Very, we're very pleased with the difference. Uh, you, you're much more. You seem much more happier. You're walking taller and straighter. Uh, you're so pleasant to be around. Uh, you and your brother are getting along great, even when he's, uh, you know, makes fun of you or something, or you know, j wants to jab you a certain way. You just roll, roll with the punches, and we feel we don't have to be so sensitive about what we say now. Um, we were walking on ice before, or on glass, I should say. And um, we see a very big difference, and we're very pleased so far with what's going on. And um, you, you do have short-term memory loss. You don't rem remember any movies we've gone to see, you know, like in the last week or so. But um, that's, that's something that will pass. And we're just praying that this um, will last a long time and maybe, be, maybe possibly go off all medications. I don't know. We're, we're looking into that. But... Um, we're real pleased, and uh, you just seem you just seem so much happier than you've been in a very long time, and you're so mellow about it, and you're a joy to be around. So, anyways, we love you. <laughs>